Okay, so for question number one, just remember that the denominator is the root. So this is the root and the numerator is the power. So what this is telling you to do is take the square root of 25 and then raise that to the power of three. So when we select all that applies, uh, this is an option because three times one half is three halves. Um, this one is an option because that's rewritten in radical form. And now let's go ahead and simplify this. If you take the square root of 25, you get five. And now in your calculator, take five to the power of three. And what is five to the power of three? So that there would be three answers to the first question. For question number two, it's asking you to select the equation that has the vertex. So remember, it's always opposite and the same. So I'm looking for one that has an x plus 3 underneath the square root. So it needs to have an x plus 3 underneath, and then the minus 7 is under. So that would be this option here. Okay, so let's go ahead, and it says uh, using the function, which is given, um, and the values a, b, h, and k, identify the transformations. So the A value is two. So that is going to cause it to vertically stretch. Let's see if I can fit that in there. Um, because of that negative underneath the square root, that represents the B value and that makes it reflect across the Y axis. The H value is negative three. So looking inside of the parentheses, you choose the opposite sign. So that would be a negative three for H, which is going to cause it to go left three. The K value is negative four. So that moves it down four. Your domain for this one, this graph is going to look so it's going to go left three down four, and it's going to go to the um, to the left. So your domain is going to be negative infinity to h. And your range is going to be k to infinity. So looking at your h and k, Go ahead and choose what would be your correct answers for your domain and range. So you have negative infinity to three, well, negative infinity to negative three, and then negative four to infinity. So that would be your answers for question number, what is this, three. For number four, for number four, it's asking you if A is one, select the equation in vertex form. So this is H and K. So select the equation that has a H value of negative one. Okay, so H and K is one and negative four. So you need to choose the equation that has a one negative four for H and K. Remember, H always changes the sign, so that would be a negative inside of the parentheses. It would be X minus one inside of the parentheses instead of X plus one. So your inverse, this is definitely something that I would have on your cheat sheet, is that your restriction is always X is greater than or equal to H. So that's something I would definitely have on your cheat sheet for the final. So whatever your H value is, that's what you would type in that box. So what is the H value of this parabola? What is, what is the X value of the vertex? One. So go ahead, type that number in right here.
So if the vertex is one negative four, for the inverse, you flip it. So for the inverse, you're looking for an equation that has an H value of negative four and a K value of one. So go ahead, looking at number six, choose the equation that has an H value of negative four and a K value of positive one because the definition of inverse is you, you reverse X and Y. So if H is negative four, I'm looking for a plus four underneath and then a positive one is on the outside. For number seven and eight, seven is asking you to determine if they are inverses. So if I take this, then it doesn't matter if you put the F and G or the G and F. So you have the square root of 64X squared, which is actually 8X. And 8X is not the same as just X. So the answer is no for number seven.